Hi guys and girls, now today we're gonna to do a how-to on skip casting because we had a few people come onto the page and ask us about it. Now I've found the most effective lure that, we've, that I use for skip casting seems to be that three inch grub. So in this case, we're using the Domeki D, D grubs, which are a three inch grub. I find the lot, there's lightly weighted head as you can possibly have. The lighter the head, the more success you're gonna have with your skip cast. As you start going higher up in the weight of the jig head, it's gonna be a bit more tricky, but you can still do it. So let's, uh, let's get into it. Now, you may remember when you were a little boy, or a little girl, and for that matter, when you used to get the rocks and skip them in the water. You used to get down low and see how many skips you can get. Well, it's the same concept. You wanna get that lure nice and low to the water, let it hit the water and let it skip from there. So, you can cast forehand or backhand. I find backhand a little easier. I like to have only a little bit of line from, the, from a lure to the tip of the rod, as to be as low to the water as I can. Rod tips low down, and there you go. Got a few skips out of that. Now. Some people might be thinking, why do I need to do the skip cast for? Well, people have been asking for it. Now, the reason why you do the skip cast is because sometimes you might have a bank, and you might have overhanging trees or mangroves, and they might, the mangroves might come a meter, even two meters over the water. So you can still actually skip cast underneath that and get hard up to the bank in the structure where those fish live. So that is the meaning behind it. Now, a bit of practice is involved. And one thing you might also find is that when you keep doing it, because the lure hits the water so hard, your plastic will shoot off the jig head. So I find an internal weight jig head does do well, or if you do have a light jig head, try push it right over the, letter, the weight of the jig head. Just seems to hold on that little bit better. So we'll have another crack here. Nice and low to the water as such. Well, that wasn't what I was trying for, but it still did skip. It's all practice. You're not gonna get them perfect every time. It's quite simple though. Nice backhander, and off you go again. Get it right underneath those mangroves. And a lot of the times, that can be the difference between getting fish and not getting fish. So it's definitely a good thing to, good thing to uh, learn. You will find also, that was a better one. You may find, find also, play around with your brands of plastics. Some seem to skip better than others. I know some of the water-based plastics do skip really well. So mix and match and you'll find what works and doesn't work. Also some of the skip shads, some of the real slim minnow style plastics do skip really well as well. But I've found that the, the three inch grubs just seem to do the trick. Okay, now I hope I've taught you something today. For those that wanted to see the skip cast, know a bit more about it, well, that's all I've really got to show you. If you want, it, if you want to go try them on some of the Domeki baits, they're at weflickfishing.com on our online store. They're pretty good value for money. You get a fair few in the pack too. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you at the next how-to video. I'm Jake, this is Weflick. Have a nice day.